Hi there, so this is a quick run through of the pairing process. This is where you pair the dongle that you plug into the inverter to the customer's home network. All you need to do for this is get to the app here, uh, FoxCloud version 2.0, get to the login screen. You don't need to log into your account at this point for the pairing. You simply take the three dot option at the top right of the screen. Once you've done that, you then select WLAN configuration. It will, then, it will then scan for devices. If you're installing a single inverter with one dongle, you'll get one device here. If you're doing a few, you'll see multiple. I'm seeing multiple because I'm at the office and obviously we've got quite a few devices here. So you then obviously select the relevant device, okay? Connecting network next. It's then looking for Wi-Fi networks, okay? So it will find, all being well, the customer's home network. It might find a few of the neighbors as well. So you just select their network from the drop-down list, okay? And then you simply enter their Wi-Fi password and click next that configuration is complete okay so at this point the dongle is communicating with the Fox cloud we can see it if you had any issues at this point uh, any concerns about the system wanted us to troubleshoot or give you a sanity check on the installation you could contact us at this point because we can see it okay the customer can't see it on their account and you can't see it on your account yet but it is communicating with the cloud Second stage then, once you've actually done the pairing, is to add it to your account. So what I would suggest you do here, you should have an agent account. Okay, so you simply log into that. Uh, once you're logged into the agent account, this isn't an agent account anyway, but for the purposes of showing you this, it's fine. You go to the top right, three dots again, and new plant. So here, you're going to add the device. So you're going to click the plus symbol, uh, QR, um, QR code scanner here. Okay, so you'll just... Select that, scan the QR code on the dongle itself, or you can enter the number manually should you wish to. You're then going to add the site details, so give it a site name, uh, country, city address, everything else is pretty straightforward. One thing to note at the bottom there, you've got unit income. I would suggest you leave that blank. That was kind of a legacy feature uh, from the days of the feed-in tariff when there was a subsidy paid for at a fixed rate for every unit generated, so it was quite nice simple calculation to make feed tariff is largely gone now uh, lots of people aren't on it some people are getting seg payments at different rates other people are using time of use charging from grid different ways of generating revenue from the system so that figure really has become redundant and could confuse people so what i would suggest you do on the unit income figure is leave that blank okay just a just a little note there so then at that point um so we're going to log out of this here just to get back to the login screen we can see it on the cloud because you've got the dongle connected. You can see it because you've created the site within your agent account. The end user still can't see it because they need to create an account. But all they need to do at this point is go to this screen. So you can instruct them to do this or do it on their behalf. They register for an account, accept the T's and C's, of course. And then they just select I am an owner. And at this point, it's going to prompt them for a username and a password. Okay. They can also add the serial number here as well. So they can do it the same way that I just showed you a minute ago. They can scan the QR code on the side, or you can write it down for them and they can enter it manually. They submit that. They've got an account. They don't need to create the site because you've already done it on your agent account. So it will pull those details across, bind your account to their account. They'll see everything and everything is done. So hopefully that's clear. If you've got any further questions, you can always contact us on the service line. But that, at a basic level, is how you connect the dongle and create the uh, end user accounts. Thank you.